incorrectly. Just try to toss a golf ball to somebody and see if you still got a jar. It's like this. Like to call the meeting to order the second regular meeting of the county board for November. Would you please recite the pledge with me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for all being here today. If we have visitors, we're glad to have you. Uh, as soon as the clerk gets back over here. Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Certainly. Good morning. Good morning. Luddington. Yes, sir. <laughs> here. Patrick. Yes, here. Bruner. Here. Chittick. Yes. Farnham. Here. Lorenzen. Here. And Voigt. Here. All right. Okay, the first item. I can determine. Sorry. Oh, no, you guys go ahead. Sorry, brother. That's all right. Uh, it's kind of an informal kind of a deal, so it's okay. Uh, whatever, it's certainly so much more pleasant than it used to be. So I do not want to in any way lessen our ability to have a nice time, get business done for the public, and enjoy ourselves. We should enjoy it while we got it. Yes. Want to have a roll call next time? I've never been to top. I'll be number There's one next time. <laughs> You're, we have. It's we, rotated. We rotate. Every meeting it rotates. I've never been by to one. top. Though. Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of order, okay. boy. Okay, claims against the county. Uh, the staff has been good enough to uh, we've run another uh, batch or two so that we could catch up for the new accounting system. So you do have some claims that you received in your packet. There was also a small list of claims that were, a batch was opened up yesterday and closed so that we could accommodate some last minute bills so that we could clean things up for accountants. So uh, is there any questions on those bills or claims? So these are two separate. Yes, there's two separate ones. One, the, uh, the claims were closed out last week, the batch, and then they opened one up yesterday to kind of catch all uh, at the very end. So moved. I, Dan moves. Second. And Phil seconds. My day. <laughs> Any further questions? Assume you're ready to vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Thank you, gentlemen. It does pass. Now we come to the point in our meeting where we ask for public comment. We ask that uh, it be limited to five minutes. That's our policy. Is there any uh, public comment, please? Hearing none, we'll move on to the part of the meeting where we deal with highway resolutions. Resolution one for the improvement of BLR 09110, appropriating motor fuel tax for the following HSIP guardrail, pro guardrail project. Uh, did you want to add any? We discussed that on uh, Monday morning. Is there anything? Just describe it in general so uh, the public this is understands. The guardrail uh, project that we got is a 9010 uh, match. We have to start the QBS qualification based selection process, and we're going to start by going with to IDOT with a request for more fuel tax money. Again, it's a 9010 match. But um, as you know, most of that money is fronted. So basically, the motor fuel tax account will be the clearing house. A lot of time for a long time for reimbursement. Aaron is uh, the state is aware how we're going to handle this, and they I have no problems. This is not any different than we've done in the past. Okay, I just didn't want to run afoul of yeah. uh, how if, they view. If they push back at all, then I'll come back before you with whatever. Okay. Changes. We just want to make sure communications are open and we don't have any issues. Okay. Okay. I think so yes. Do I hear a motion for that resolution, please? So Carl moved. moves. Derek seconds. Any further discussion? Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Luddington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Chittick. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Lorenzen. Yes. It does carry 6-0. Thank you. 
The next is a resolution of opposition to Senate Bill 1451. It deals directly with small wireless facilities and how they could be in the future placed in our county without much uh, thought by the local, by our local agencies and uh, the effect on our on our taxpayers and landowners. Did you want to say anything else? I just said it was a coordinated effort between Augie and I. Uh, both of our associations are opposed to this. I think it's passed the House. So if you guys uh, vote in opposition to the Senate bill, we'll pass that along to our senator. Okay. Uh, I uh, recommend that you do. The, uh, the bill will not be taken up if it's taken up at all until after January 30th. Good. Okay, okay. the sponsor can then call call that bill, but I don't know that it has a, uh, a Senate po uh, uh, sponsor. It's being carried in the pocket of the uh, majority leader right now, okay? okay? That's all I've been able to find out. And I would like to remind you gentlemen that uh, your uh, organization is totally against the passing of that bill. Meaning the Illinois uh, Association of County Board Members. Okay, this would just be to add our our voice to that. Do I hear a, a motion for that resolution, please? So moved. Derek moves, Sorry. and uh, Andy seconds. I assume you're ready to vote. So, Mr. Clerk. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Chittick. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Lorenzi. Yes. It does carry 6-0. Thank you, gentlemen. Next, we <coughs> need to approve the property casualty liability insurance renewal from ICRMT workers' comp. Now, do, do, we, do we have the workers' comp, too? Did we get that? I was trying to find out. Uh, it, is it, there's a one page, I think, I think one page is the... See, I, uh, I've lost it. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, we, go ahead. Excuse me. We do have uh, representatives from Diamond Brothers. We've got Austin Huxford, who's our agent, and J.R. Abernathy. Um, guys, you got anything you want to... Yeah, they don't really, unless you have questions. Uh, the, um, the main insurance, so the liability insurance, is down 100 or 2, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. And the work comp is up a little because our payroll was up a little. And of course, when our payroll's up a little, the multiplier times that carries it up. But we've had no, we haven't been adjudged to be a bad experience at this point that I know and had anything other than an increase due to increase in payroll. Is that correct? Yes. So if you have questions of these gentlemen, please. I don't care who answers it. I know we. Uh we put the casualty liability up for bid for this year, and they were the the bid. Uh, was the workman's comp also part of that, or was that just totally separate? Or? No, the, the work comp was not up for bid. Okay, that's that. I was on the at the meeting where we put it up for bid, and I didn't remember the work comp, so that's I'm just trying to clarify that. Okay. Any further questions of our carrier? Well, I'd entertain a motion to approve both of those policies, um, and we'll have a roll call vote. So, Andy moves, Second. and Carl seconds. Any further discussion? And thank you, gentlemen. Uh, would you please call the roll on this, Augie? Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Chittick. Yes. Farnham. Yes. And Lorenzo. Yes does carry and we appreciate uh, your being here and being able to answer questions if we had any item seven approve i'm sorry I've yeah i got one question yes please i was looking at this there's different uh, payment uh, dates what are we paying that annually semi-annually don't we on um, the big it's up to you guys you guys can choose a is there a cheaper way to do it no they're all it doesn't affect the actual premium it's just whatever you guys prefer Okay. In the past, you have done the, the payment plan of six pay, I believe, is what you've done in the past. Is it six payouts? Yeah, but it's whatever you want to do. Okay. Is, is Board have a preference? Well, it's all the same. 
time value of money, I'd say. Right. Pay six per year. Six per year. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll just do it the same in less, yeah. okay. without objection. Okay. Right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Mm -hmm. Number eight, resolution adopting the annual budget and appropriation appropriations and tax levy for fiscal year beginning uh, or period beginning December 1st, 17 and ending November 30th, 18. We've laid this over. Augie, have we had any uh, suggestions or comments as far as the, the levy or? Not or? one. No. Okay. None. So what we need to do is do final passage today. So I'd entertain a motion to approve the resolution for adopting these two documents. So moved. Derek moves. Andy seconds. I assume you're ready to vote. Mr. Clark? Ludington. Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Yeah. Any last words or offers? Yeah. I'm going to go over the other side. How's the one job with the time room? Okay, the next item is nine resolution to renew liquor, uh, alcohol liquor license number one for Andrew Z. Patrick, effective December 1st of 17 through November 30th of 18. Do I have a motion, please? Um, I'll sign it. Dan moves, Phil seconds. Would you call the roll? Ludington. Yes. Patrick? I'm sorry. <laughs> Duh, he left. No. Uh, yeah, he's Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Does carry. Number 10, resolution to renew alcohol liquor winery license number one for Andrew Z. Patrick, effective uh, December 1st, 17 through November 30th, 18. Okay, yes. Motion moved by Derek. Second. Seconded by John. Assume you're ready to vote, Mr. Clerk. Luddington. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Chittick. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Lorenzen. Yes. Thank you. It does carry. And we'll just wait for a second or two. Okay, item 11, resolution to renew alcohol liquor winery license number two for Robert E. Morgan doing business as Castle Finn uh, Vineyard and Winery effective December 1st, 17 through November 30th, 18. Motion, please. Derek moves. Andy seconds. Any further discussion? Mr. Clerk. Ludington. Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. And Lorenzo? Yes. Does carry. Next, we have three appointments to make to the Emergency Telephone System Board for the terms expiring. And again, Troy Eads, Dave Mc... I never McCrocklin. McCrocklin, and Brian Gates, all ending November 30th, 2020. Uh, are, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Uh, Carl moves. Dan seconds. I assume you're ready to vote. Roll or you oh yeah, to, uh, I guess we can just do it. You want to do it? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It does carry. Final resolution is a resolution to approve administrative order appointing. Uh, William D. McGrath as public defender for Edgar County beginning December 1st, 17 through November 30th of 19. Uh, entertain a motion. Carl moves. Andy seconds. Any further discussion? He's currently the public defender. Yes. Sir. He's yes. been for a while. And yes. Like quite a year, is it? Is it a longer than a year? Yes, it, yes, yes, yes. I lose track of time. Can you call the rule on this resolution? Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Chip. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Lorenzo. Yes. Does carry. Okay, we've got uh, department heads um, and office holders. Don is. Uh, <clears throat> Had a, an appointment this morning. You'll notice the uh, the sheet here on current fund balances. 
And if you go down the center column, you'll notice that our, let's see, per year, we are about $109,000 less than a year, a year ago. Many of the reasons for that are we have not received some of the state money that uh, we normally receive. One of them I found out this morning is going to be here on December 8th. The uh, uh, probation, we're still expecting some of that money, but we will be getting that, uh, hopefully in due, due time. And uh, there's several others that we have not received. So a lot of that is just uh, money that we haven't collected from, from the state at this point. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, Don may be a, around a little later, so if you have questions of him, uh, he'll be glad to <coughs> Okay, Dina? Um, but first of all, thank you to the Buildings and Grounds for giving us permission to participate in the fall festivities. We, our storefront is used for both Scare, Scare on the Square and then the Christmas in Paris. We have a kids activity for both of those, so we're very grateful, so thank you for that. Tomorrow night is our assessor instructional meeting for 2018 at 5 o'clock. Monday, we had our first viewing of our new mass appraisal system. I'll be signing a contract with that as soon as possible. It will be released in 2018. And Paris, we're plugging along. We are down to about eight, 900 parcels still to view. So hopefully another week or two we can complete. You worked over the holidays, didn't you? We worked holidays, and we worked again yesterday. We'll start at 7, 7.30 in the morning and go till dark. Okay. So just a long process. Any questions of Dina? Thank you. Tom? Nothing reported. Hi, Monty. Anything hey, for you? I wish I had more new stuff, like the money coming in. But the, well, yeah. and it's not, it's not monies, and it's not the local office. It's... It's not even probation. It it all has to do with the uh, comptroller's office, and when they get around to paying us, I guess they get around to paying us. Is that about right? That's about right. Okay. And we do appreciate, though, with the with your help and and some others' help, we got sort of caught up, but we're still behind. So we do appreciate that. Okay. My pleasure. Hopefully, get a few more in. Well, hopefully. Jill. You sounded excited a little while ago. What you got going on? Um, well, I was just telling you about our money. We I know. But that's... Um, we got our grant money. Um, we can start spending that after January 1st. Um, we're doing a couple campaigns with Red Cross and Paris Fire. Um, but other than that, that's about it. Cool. How much was the grant money? It ends up totaling like $18,625 or something. So. We can't replace our door with it now, though. I was going to say, did you get the bill fixed yet? No, they came back and sent me an email saying something at some FEMA, something, and it has to be environmentally preserved, or I don't even know what it's like. Are there Indiana bats living above the door? Yeah, exactly. We had to told Angie to give me a call. Okay. Thank you, Jill. Jeffrey? Sheriff? I like her. I think we I got our $25,000 grant finalized. I thank Augie and Andy. They come to help me this last leg, especially we have a lot more work than what we anticipated. So a lot of stuff that didn't have anything to do with squad cars, but I got an email yesterday and I think it's in the bag and next week or so we ought to get the money, I think. Cool. That's about it. Thank you. I want to drop back to Don. Uh, Don, I told him I compared the uh, this month at 620 with the 729, almost 730, and I said a lot of that was due to uh, fault, funds that we had. Exactly, <laughs> verbatim was Ron's fault. <laughs> Don knows. That's better. why Gipper showed up late. That's right. Anyway, ahead. I explained a lot of that as being state funds that uh, we have not received. I would, yes, right, very much so. I didn't know whether you had any other comments to make, Don. No, I, uh, considering the state, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm enthusiastic, but I, you know, at least we know where the, uh, the shortfall is and uh, not too much we can do about it, but tomorrow you and I are going to be 
and our accountant. And our accountant will hopefully learn something and right. keep our blood pressures down and, and so be diplomatic. Two years ago, we were in worse standing than we are now. Is there was that a similar issue, or I mean, not not a lot different. About <coughs> yeah, that was a, the last two years prior. You know, like in 14 and 15, we went through a period where we we were like, what, $200,000 down? And that time, was that, you know, state payments to us yes. or other issues? Or yes. Yeah, they've no. been, they just had their moments. Uh, it comes and it goes. And they think that when they make up several months that we should be smiling. Well, I'm sorry. We're, you know, it's the same old song, second verse. I, just one more question. The uh, at the bottom there, four hundred and eight forty one. Um, can you run through for me what those are exactly and where those stand? How that <coughs> where where are we? The very bottom, the last two line items, four hundred and eight forty one, levied funds at the bottom, forty nine fifteen across the board. And, uh, yeah. I see nine eighty nine nine, the very bottom. Up from there. If you go into levied funds, the last two numbered line items, capital improvement fund and oh, okay. All right. All right. <coughs> capital improvement fund has been around and that 4915 has been sitting out there like a sore thumb for several years. I don't know. <coughs> it seems like uh, we looked into seeing what we could do about that. I don't know how many years ago just to kind of, <coughs> it's not like it's a bank account. It's just money that's sitting in the general fund, so it's, uh, uh, I can look into that. And as far as the courthouse improvement fund, I'm, I'm very pleased that we are ending this fiscal year with a balance in there. We just, we just paid a 60 some thousand as part of, I think, these claims. And, uh, and it, it is nice to have some breathing room in there. Uh, because your your folks' actions on getting some money back in there that we weren't being able to put in there because of other reasons. Um, while you mention that, Derek, there's a few others that are going to disappear. <coughs> um, the the eight, fund 842 as to, I'm going to take it off of the next uh, on it. It has been uh, it's run its course. We uh, there's no need for that to be on there anymore. <coughs> um, I thought there was one other one, but maybe not. Yes, 842, no, just 842. Uh, Jill, the, eight, the ESDA building grant. Yes. Yeah. Are we going to see any activity in that? Yes, you're going to be, you're going to get that 18,000. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So she can use it to, uh, or, okay. Yeah, what, Derek, any other? Well, just, and just again, this is just for my education. They, uh, back to the 841, the courthouse improvement fund. So basically at the start, at the first of the year, what will be the number that will be in there? Will that be what we allot for the budget? Will that be zeroed out and we trickle money? No, no, that is, that's a balance. Year? That's a balance that's going to be maintained. Um, when, this, when the courthouse improvement fund started, it was suggested by our auditors that we track it separately in a fund because this is going to be going on for 20 years, this, this payback of the bonds. And we have monies coming in from the city and then also through our budget here. We, and we used to have other monies coming in, but that's why it got depleted because those stopped. Um, yeah, we're going to have that 47,000 and then how much is? 50, 58. Yeah, and I can't that, remember. That between the city and what we have scheduled to go in there, plus what's sitting there, I think we're going to be able to maintain the servicing of the bonds and the debt certificates. So this this 841 acts as the clearinghouse. This is the last place money stops before it goes to Chicago to those those and to institutions debt and, bond and to the Edgar County Bank for the debt certificate. Okay. So it's always in flux. The money from the city goes in there and will continue to for the next few years. And then also monies we put in there, whether it's from the sale of a building like we just did or money that we're allotted yeah. for the budget. Yeah, whatever you, you the board chooses, if they want to put like that money from the uh, selling of the Crescent building, that was uh, a very, I think that was a very efficient 
way of utilizing that money. Sure. So what we should expect is, or what I think I'm seeing here is this this amount is better than it was, still less than it probably should be per the scheduling we put on there. But that's that's a good place to look from here on out for me anyway, is to say where are we and, and, and how are we doing. Right. And that and this it's not like the city's gonna be paying I don't think they pay till the end of the the right. There's it's gonna go away, but it would be right. nice to right. see us stay ahead of the curve and anticipate that. I think it would be probably if, if we can and we'll we'll let you know. I'll talk to Don, but as soon as we can we ought to put our our annual contribution in there so it's there. Mm -hmm. Period. I think all of you would agree that that would probably be, as long as we have a cash flow to support it, which I think we do, we should probably do that. Okay? And that way that would grow that from 47 plus 58 or whatever. I can't remember exactly what it is, but 58,000 I think is the correct number. So that would go up immediately. As a procedural thing, you know, we have that in the budget, the money for it, and do we have to uh, have a resolution? To right. So in December, we'd have a resolution transferring that money okay. to that particular fund. Okay. And that way everybody's on the same page, everybody knows what's going on, and we make our commitment known. Okay? okay. I remember when this first came about, needless to say, as the tax collector, I had people approach me saying, so how much is this going to rate? When they look out and see the scaffolding and all this, how much is this going to cost us in taxes? How much is it going to rate? It? And so I just, at the time, it was Jim Keller, and I just said, Jim, what's, what's the textbook answer? He says, the way we are intending, it's not going to cost any more in tax dollars. <clears throat> Even though it was set up where we could levy every year, we have yet to levy, and it's not our intent to ever levy to keep this. We're trying to find other ways of, of uh, servicing these bonds. Good questions. I mean, we all need to know and be on the right page page together okay thank you don yeah other than that i don't derek no thanks so. no, excellent discussion oh uh filing period is open now for the march 20th uh, 2018 primary and it closes next monday night at five o'clock We've had several uh, petitions turned in. So, cool. That's all I've done. Okay. No questions. <clears throat> uh, follow up, Derek, if I may. I think you asked it at the study session about the Crickman building, right? I you. And it is off of the schedule for our insurance. And it take it all the power and water and all that's taken care of. I assume so. That would be the buyers. Well, don't we need to call and well, we'll, okay. we'll follow up on that. Thank you. Thanks. that was done uh, before they actually took over. So. Okay. We, we got the final bill. Okay. Cool. I'm just just asking so we'd all know. All right. Uh, moving on. I'm oh, sorry. Did you have something else or can, questions? Can I back John? up and have one question on the committee reports, Tom? You got the bids in on the beacon. Were they about what you expected? Exactly. Yeah, no bid in for, okay. So there weren't any changes to the actual bids. We just formalized the process and we ran those guys down to get the right. signing. Correct. Okay. Um, while we're on that, I, mean, I was going to ask during my piece, but um, if those have been submitted. Have you got any word from Springfield whether or not those are good to go or not? I assume they are because they basically said, here's what you need to put in, and we put them in for the bids, right? Officially, they haven't said yes. And we're waiting on that in order to actually extend the offer. So, okay. Sign the contract. I mean, those guys are just right on the right on the money really quick in response to the fact. <laughs> probably happened right now. That's probably you know, well, you know what's on that last email I sent them. I added the name to it because when you add that name, we seem to get a quicker response. Mm. Mm. Okay, committee reports. I'm sorry, Augie, were you done? I think I'm done, yes. Okay. Mr. Bruner. I uh, don't have much. Uh, okay. Andrew's still in physical therapy, so we don't know if she's going to have surgery or not. So when she does, it'll work out uh, extra help at the animal shelter. So. Okay. 
But Linda is okay so far. Yeah, okay. yeah she's working on so. Well, no, I understand. I just learned. Okay. Andy? Nothing super major. Bob, Bob cornered me the other day and said that he thought the, the boiler, I, I guess, had used a lot of water, a lot more than a lot more than normal. And he said that I don't see it leaking anywhere. So we're looking into where the water's going. Could it be because of some of the issues that we've corrected in the system? I don't think so. He called Harvey and talked to him, Harvey died, and he said that there are places where the, the piping is not, I don't know whether it's under, uh, under no, underground or somewhere where if it leaked you wouldn't necessarily see it. So would it we're be looking into this right now. Would it be related to the sauna we put in the executive washroom? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you for that germane comment. Yeah. Let's try to solve problems. Well, yeah. Thanks, Derek. Other than that, not much. Bill, he had anything? I said, well, I could save a day four hours in a row. Thank you. John? I have nothing. Carl? Nothing. Derek? We've already covered the airport thing, so nothing. We've covered everything else. Uh, we'll get a, once we get through tomorrow with our accountant and Don will we'll get you and get all the incomes in that we need to we'll get you a copy of the final on the budget okay because there's just too much hanging out there right now um, anyway we will be going over to Springfield tomorrow we do need a closed session uh, a brief one well I say brief and then they don't but we need to uh, have a motion to go into closed session for uh, land acquisition. So and review of closed session minutes. And review of closed session minutes, please. Uh, Andy makes Second. that motion. Second. Derek seconds that motion. All those in fa favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. So we'll take a, about five minute break, and then we'll go back into the session. Yeah. Um, Derek. Okay, we're back in open session. Okay, we have one more item of business. We're out of closed session, and that is uh, to uh, action on the closed session minutes. Do we have a, a motion to keep uh, the closed session minutes closed? So moved. Derek moves. Andy seconds. So this just needs to be a regular vote. All those in favor, aye. Or do you need to roll call it? Uh, how, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay. Now I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Derek moves. Okay. Andy seconds. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We are out of session.